Prime Beef, beef standing for Base Engineer Emergency Force. Our job is we have to come in, we have to sustain a base. So we have, we go in and we're gonna build up the bear base and we're gonna be the engineers behind the scenes making sure a base is running smoothly. So we're building it and we're sustaining it once it's established. For these Prime Beef Olympics, we had the entire civil engineering group that consists of the 673rd Civil Engineering Squadron and the 773rd Civil Engineering Squadron. This event was created to bridge training gaps that we don't normally get. We were able to exercise our skills on different training aspects that normally we don't get to see, such as a 300 meter pop-up range that we were able to fire our M4s on, some convoy courses where we were able to receive contact in different scenarios. What? It's been physical. Right. There's been a lot of uh, there's a lot of running, a lot of running in combat boots. Uh, we're getting out of our day-to-day -day routines, running around in the woods. The temperatures have been a little warmer than we're used to, running in this gear, and then it's just physically demanding. Whether we're throwing sandbags, whether we're climbing over barriers, it's that's probably the most challenging. So I think everybody's been tested in their abilities. So in the beginning of the week, there was a lot of people who may have been new to the squadron or just haven't really had a chance to get outside of their shops. So. There wasn't a lot of uh, inter-shop communication. Throughout the course of the week, people got to know each other, learned to lean on each other throughout these uh, more difficult events and really came together. I feel like because of this, the, the group dynamic is a lot closer. It's, it's a lot of new faces, so it's kind of different getting to know everyone, and trying to motivate people of all different ranks. So you have to tell yourself, hey, we're all on the same team. Somebody has to take the lead so we can get it done. So everything we're doing out here, I mean, obviously we'll be doing when we deploy. So it's about us as a team uh, executing our contingency mission and learning how to work with others. We all broke outside of our crafts and we all, we were a bunch of strangers to begin with. We knew of each other, but we didn't know each other. And then we had to work to a common goal. We kind of had buy-in in the process because again, we were being competitive. And now we know all these people like the back of our hand. Realistically, in a deployed situation, these are situations we could very realistically face. So practicing these in this manner, yes, this is in a competition style, low threat. It's a learning environment, so we're learning from our mistakes. But realistically, we go down range, and if we're assuming we don't go to Al Daf or Al Udeed, this is the stuff we're going to be doing real world. So practicing this more, getting more hands-on, more muscle memory, that's going to be key to success in contingency operations.